Hey guys, Jessica here. I was planning on doing a makeup tutorial video today. We went to the um, dermatologist this morning, my husband and I. Since we live in Florida, we wanted to get our skin checked. It's the first time I've ever been to a dermatologist. Um, and I mentioned to them how I had this dark spot on my cheek. It actually looks a lot worse right now because they use uh, liquid nitrogen and they froze. Um, that area. So I basically got uh, frostbite on my face. <laughs> but um, because of that, for the day, I cannot put any makeup on my face um, until at least tomorrow. So I cannot do a makeup tutorial video today. So because of that, I decided I was going to do a video on 10 products that I have tried, some of them being very expensive products um, that maybe you are interested in looking to buy, but I wanted to share with you that they did not work for me and that I personally would not purchase them. So I want to go through them with you um, just so you can kind of get my views of how they worked on my combination skin um, and then you can decide uh, what you want to do with that. But um, four of them, I have my computer over here because I returned within a week of having them because it was just that bad on my skin. I realized there's no way I'm going to use these products so I returned them right away. Um, the first one is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery. It's that blue bottle. It's the most pricey of all the items that I bought. Um, I really wanted to like it because I've heard such great results from other people on it. I bought the Kiehl's Recovery with the Origins Bamboo Toner and using the two of them together, um, I don't know how else to say it, but my face looked reptilian. It was dry, it was scaly, it was just, it did not look good. Um, so I returned that within the week of having it because it just did not look pretty. Another product that I had um, and returned was the Dermacol Foundation. I've heard lots of great reviews on it because you use very little product to achieve a full face of makeup. Um, and it's true that it used very, very little. It would last you a very long time. But um, in saying that, when I put it on my face, it, um, I don't know how else to say, but my, my face looked old. I used very little product and I tried it multiple times with a sponge, I tried it with a brush, I tried it with my fingers, and all the times it just did not look pretty on my skin. Another product that I ended up returning was the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So many people love this bronzer, and I had high hopes for it because I heard that it blended well and it smelled nice, and it does. It blends very nicely, it's very smooth and creamy, um, but what I didn't like was the scent. I usually like tropical scents, and there was something about the scent that was just not for me. Um, I did not like the scent at all, so I ended up returning it. Um, I have four products here that I bought at Christmas time. I bought two boxes, yes, two boxes of the Ole Hendrickson 12 Days of Christmas because it was a great uh, package deal with 12 items in each box. So I have four items that I did not like from that box at all that I wanted to share with you. Um, the first two go together. One is the eye gel and one is the eye um, cream, transformation night cream. And if you have oily skin, you'd probably really like this because gel um, consistencies are really good for oily skin, but I have combination skin and I really did not see a benefit from this. Um, it gave a very little bit of moisture, but I didn't really feel like my face was hydrated from it. And the other thing I noticed is it's very tacky when you first put it on and I don't like that feeling. So the gel formula from Ole Hendrickson is just not for me. Another product that was in that box that I did not like was the Ole Hendrickson Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil. It is an orange color. Um, I put this on and I immediately hated it. It is orange in consistency. It dyed my towels, it dyed my clothes. Um, and the one thing that I didn't like about it the most is it dyed my face. It looked like a uh, tanner gone wrong. My face was actually orange and I have fair to porcelain skin. It did not look pretty at all. So I don't really know what kind of benefits you get from it, but I did not like it the first time I even used it. The other product that was in that box that I tried for a little bit was the Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator. If you have oily skin, you'd probably love this. It mattifies your makeup. It's very lightweight and absorbs quickly. However, with combination skin, it mattified the makeup too much. Um, so I did not like that. Um, so this is just not for me, but oily skin types would probably love it. My last two products were not horrible. Um, they just are not something that I would repurchase because I did not really see a benefit from them. The first one is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. 
I've been using this. I actually finished it last night. As you can see, it's empty. Um, in the summertime here in Florida, it's very hot. So I wanted something that was kind of lightweight, and this is. It's very lightweight. It's a lot better than the Ole Hendrickson uh, gel one that I tried, but I didn't really feel like my face stayed hydrated the whole time. Like I felt like midday, it kind of wasn't hydrated anymore. Um, and once again, if you have oily skin, I'm sure you'd really like this one. It doesn't have any scent to it. Um, it's just not for me. Another product that's not really for me is the Lorac I'm So Sensitive Face Primer. I bought a primer because I never used one before and I heard that how it can make your makeup perform better and it looks more flawless. Um, so I bought the I'm So Sensitive one thinking that you know I didn't want to have any breakouts and I can have sensitive skin. I tried it, I used it um, with CC creams and foundations and to be honest with you, I didn't see a difference in how the CC creams or foundations sat on my face with a sponge or a brush or fingers. Um, I tried it all. So to me, spending 22 plus dollars on a primer that I didn't really see a huge difference with is just not worth it in my book. So I would not repurchase this. Um, as always, all skin types are different. So some of these products, like especially the oily um, skin products that I was mentioning, you might love some of them. They just don't really work on my combination skin. So if you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and comment below. And I really hope that um, you will subscribe to my page before leaving and like my video. And I thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.